Hi right, everybody, Mark Sutter, 5.43 p.m. Eastern. I'm in Wilmington, North Carolina. And I uh, just talked to Jesse Bass, and he went over all the advisory stuff with me. I was loading up equipment. Tony Bright uh, helping me out with that. Tony's here in Wilmington as well. Um, basically, the advisory information we have seen, Dorian has become stronger. It looks a lot more healthy on satellite imagery and radar presentation. The pressure dropping again and the overall structural improvement is there. Winds are now 110 miles per hour. Storm surge forecasts are starting to go up just a little bit. Um, this is becoming more serious for the Carolinas and it could get stronger as it is in a light to moderate shear environment at worst and over very warm water temperatures that are basically undisturbed including the Gulf Stream. So do not be surprised if this gets stronger and we see a 115, 120 mile per hour hurricane at some point. Heavy rainfall, up to a foot of rain, maybe more for parts of the coastal Carolinas into the sand hills. The impacts from this are going to be moderate to severe. Storm surge, flooding rain, wind, power outages, this is going to be a big deal for South Carolina and North Carolina. Um, maybe back to the I-95 corridor in terms of power outages and tree damage etc so you know my best advice at this point if you are, are just scrambling like what is the deal what can I find out for my local area go to weather.gov weather.gov put in your zip code and read the hurricane local statement that's the easiest thing to do for information pertaining to your specific area all right weather.gov go to your uh, zip code there put that in and read the hurricane local statement that's the best thing to do i am going to be going up towards the outer banks dropping equipment along the way tony and joe assistants good friends of mine colleagues etc they're going to be helping out putting equipment in carolina beach the best way to follow what i'm doing hurricanetrack.com and then from there is a link to patreon Patreon is this crowdfunding site, but it's also more than that. It's got this ability to allow me to post information, very much like Twitter, Facebook, blogging wrapped up into one. Most of what I post is available to the public, but there also is access to the camera systems, etc., in Patreon. So go to hurricanetrack.com, click on the link, you go to Patreon. You go to Patreon, and I, it messed up for some reason, and that's where I'm able to post information uh, on the go. It's incredible, so check that out. And when I get to Rodanthe late tonight, I will post another video discussion. It'll be late, so if it bothers you with an, uh, with an alert, my apologies in advance. I'm trying to keep you up to date. Uh, I will be streaming live on YouTube along the way as well, as I'm doing right now. And I'll be posting updates there, or not posting, but talking about stuff as I drive. Easier said than done, right? Um, long night ahead, long day tomorrow for the Carolinas as this comes in stronger, it looks like. I appreciate you tuning in. I am Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com. I'll do my best to keep you updated as I travel and keep on top of what's happening with Hurricane Dorian.